Over the years, I hadn't really taken very good care of myself. I lived life to excess. Too much food, too much beer. You know the mantra. No such thing as too much of a good thing. Well, it all caught up with me last summer. An event that would change my life forever. I was at a party and saw one of my friends grab my phone. He joked he was going to throw it into the river on the other side of the street and ran off. I ran after him, but my heart, as abused as it was over the years, wasn't up to the task. I had a heart attack right in the street. And, as I said, my life changed right then and there. Or should I be more specific, right there on the operating table soon after. My poor heart was in a good shape. As they say, it had given up the ghost. I was, however, in luck. The hospital had just gotten a heart that evening from a donor who had recently passed. And my new lease on life began. I started to eat better, stopped drinking, and determined not to squander this once-in-a-lifetime chance. But I didn't go through the experience unchanged. I felt off. Different. At times as though I was a different person altogether. Well, I'm not going to lie and say I was a saint, but this other person, well, seemed just plain evil. Everybody I talked to just laughed and told me it was in my head that I'd been through a traumatic experience and this was my way of coping. I, however, knew it wasn't in my head, but in my heart. I started doing some research into transplants and to find out who this mysterious donor was. Seems nobody at the hospital was forthcoming with that info. Finally, a breakthrough. I read, the heart has two distinct networks of nerves, one consisting of nerve cells within the heart and the other made of nerves originating outside of the heart. Both networks have the potential to encode, store, and retrieve memories. Also, I found my donor's identity. He was a murderer named Arnold Mills. He killed six people before being executed by the state. I looked up his photo on my computer screen. Those hateful eyes, that sharp expression. I stood up, not sure what to do with my newfound information, and then collapsed to the floor. I stood up again and walked to the bathroom, threw some cold water on my face. I looked in the mirror and that face from the computer screen looked back at me, only this time it had a sinister smile. Yeah, I mused, things are going to be different around here. I started to laugh.